What's going on y'all? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. So this past year of fishing has been probably one of the best ones ever for me. Uh, I caught my personal best bass. Um, I caught just a ton of fish. I learned a lot and uh, I felt like I grew a lot as an angler. So over the past year, uh, I've actually just been saving those clips, any clip where either I didn't catch enough fish to make a full video or I think a couple of times I actually caught too many fish and couldn't include all of them in the video. But I got all these clips together from just those random days where it just didn't end up working out or I couldn't make them into a real video and uh, I just decided to hold on to them. So all this footage has just been sitting in like a random folder on my computer and I never really did anything with it until uh, right about now. And since I don't have any like actual fishing content to put out right now, I figured I may as well take this time to go over some of those clips and kind of explain to y'all what was going on. So obviously this is going to be a little bit weird uh, just because I do have a bunch of just random clips that don't have any context with them. So, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a series of videos on this channel that's just like random footage from earlier this year. I'm going to show you guys the clip and either before or after I'm going to talk about a little bit what I was doing, what I was throwing, just you know gen general basic information to kind of help you guys understand the clips a little bit more. But yeah, this is going to be kind of like a sit down video mixed with a little bit of fishing. So. Hope you guys enjoy this one. So this first clip is actually gonna be for my birthday this past year. Uh, for y'all who don't know, my birthday's in June, so this was like right in the middle of the year. I didn't have a ton of time that one particular day. Uh, I had some plans with some friends, so I wasn't really trying to spend the entire day fishing. But I mean, it was my birthday and I wanted to get on a couple of fish, so I decided to take the kayak out for a couple hours in the morning and see if I could get on some. So this video took place in one of my favorite little ponds. You guys have probably seen this one in a bunch of videos. And pretty much I was just throwing a Senko, just like I normally do in the summer. Just took it and uh, threw it up. You know what? I'm just gonna let the video play and I'll just let you guys see it for yourself. There's a fish. It feels like, a, oh, it is a good one. Or a decent one, I guess. There we go, finally. Jesus Christ. Been out here for like two hours. There we go. All right, bud, thanks for biting. See ya. <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Yeah, so that was the one fish that I caught on my birthday. Um, I believe it was probably right around that pound and a half mark, maybe a little bit less than that. It wasn't a huge fish, but it wasn't a tiny fish either. I'm um, throwing around a little, um, I think it was a yum dinger uh, in red bug color. It was probably one of my favorite all around stick baits this year, just because it was really inexpensive and they work super well. All right, this next clip takes place at the pond that dreams are made of. Uh, I was out again on my kayak and Again, I was throwing a little worm. In this video, uh, you'll actually hear me say it, but I was up shallow trying to fish some reeds and I saw a fish move one of the reeds. So I got my little sick bit out and uh, well, y'all see what happened. Mm. I just felt, saw a fish move a weed over there. Hang on. Tie on a Senko. Let me see if I can get him with this. Of course, my Senko's messed up now that I need to use it. There he is. I got him. Yep. <laughs> I saw him move that freaking little... There you go. All right, buddy. Fighting hard. He's fighting hard. Probably because he's not a bad fish. Oh, my God. All right. There we go. First one landed of the day for me. Probably about a solid pound, pound and a quarter. All right, buddy. All right. Not a bad fish on that hoax fish chiseler worm. Very nice. Hell yeah. Well pound, pound and a quarter. All right, bud, appreciate you biting. Catch you later. Like I said, I saw that one knock this reed right here. I don't know what he was chasing or what happened, but he just pushed that little reed, saw the little reed move and 
threw right over here and he was all about it. So in this video, I was throwing the black and blue hoax fish chiseler worm. Uh, it's just a little five inch stick bait, just kind of kind of an interesting profile to it. Not exactly what you would find in a stick bait, but uh, I found they work really, really well. Again, I saw that fish moving up in the reeds, so I took that stick bait and just tossed it in as light as I possibly could, let it sink for a couple of seconds, and he hit it on the first drop. All right, this next clip actually comes at the same spot where I broke my personal best this year. Uh, I was out there just trying to catch a few little fish. Again, I really just had an hour before the sun went down for this one, so I didn't really have a ton of time to fish, but I figured I'd just pair a couple of rods out to a pond that I didn't really have a ton of luck at and see if I can get on one or two. For this clip, I'm actually just throwing your average uh, Zoom Super Fluke, uh, just in a baby bass color, I think. Maybe it was a California 420, I'm not really sure. I'll have it linked down below. Actually, just like in a normal video, uh, if you guys are interested in picking up any of this stuff, I'll leave it all linked down in the description for y'all to go take a closer look at it. I'm probably not gonna get everything exactly right, just like based off of memory, but but uh, once I go over all these clips and rewatch them again, uh, I'll probably be able to tell you what kind of lure I'm using. Is that a bite? That is a bite. Got him! Dude, is he still on there? He might have gotten off. Oh no, he's still on there. He's just in the grass. And I'm wrapped up around my freaking rod course. Oh, uh, he's probably not on there anymore. Oh no, he is. He's just pretty little. Just like the first one. All right, buddy. Yeah, I know. I know. You're not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. We're both just gonna have to deal with it, okay? I might have actually killed him. <laughs> He's not moving at all. You all right, fella? You okay? Yeah, he's all right. All right, bud, catch you later. This pond seems to get a lot of really matted vegetation along the edges, uh, just in the summertime in general, but especially towards the end of the summer when the water starts coming down, that matted vegetation just gets super thick. And so what I was doing is I was fishing the fluke, just kind of up and along, like in the little holes in the grass, just hoping that there were a few smaller fish just kind of hanging around in there. And just like y'all saw, we uh, managed to get one. It wasn't the biggest fish, but it was a fish and I'll take it. All right, next up is gonna be a clip from a small pond that I found earlier this spring. Usually over the spring, I'll try and find like four or five different bodies of water just to try and expand my horizons a little bit and fish some new bodies of water as well. And I tend to go to them uh, a few times throughout the year and, uh, you know, see if they're good. This just happened to be one of those ponds that didn't really work out, but uh, I actually did catch a couple of fish out of it at one point or another. The fish in there just seemed to be super, super small, which you'll see in this clip, I caught a really tiny fish. Oh, I got a little fish on. <laughs> Here we go. Huh. Little aquarium bass. All right, little little man. Go get some real food. Pick on something. Let's well, say pick on something your own size. Maybe something a little smaller than you. Bye, buddy. Okay, there are fish in here. Did not get skunked. <laughs> that was probably the smallest fish that I've caught. And, oh geez, I don't know. Probably, definitely all year, but probably since, I don't know, pre-spawn last year? So it's been probably a year. <laughs> all right, new PB, personal PD, personal dinkest, dinkiest, yeah. All right, yeah, as you can see, that fish was super tiny, and that's kind of the reason why I didn't go back there. There were a lot of really big bluegill and a lot of really tiny bass. And honestly, uh, it just really wasn't an easy spot to fish. I'm gonna try it again this coming spring, but I'm not really sure about it. Now, I don't remember exactly what kind of worm I was using, but I know I was using some kind of Senko type lure. Again, it'll be linked down in the description for y'all to check out. It was kind of weird, the fish was so tiny, I didn't even know I had one on. All right, rolling into the last clip right now. 
So I wanted to save this clip for the last one of this video, uh, just because it is kind of the big fish of the video, I guess you could say. I was out on my kayak and uh, I was fishing a new body of water again, trying to find some new bodies of water for the spring. It was pretty windy that day, so I was just kind of staying on the move, throwing a crankbait, uh, spinnerbait, uh, chatterbait, pretty much just whatever moving bait I possibly could. And honestly, I wasn't really having all that much luck, but then I got all the way down to the back corner and uh, well, this happened. Good one, holy shit. Get in the net. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's a good fish. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> That's probably about a two younder, two and a half maybe. It's definitely a female. Little tiny mouth, big belly. Pretty girl. All right, I'm gonna get a couple pictures real quick and uh, get her on back. Okay. All right, zeroed out. Let's see what it is, folks. All right, 190. Almost a two younda. I think that's what I said, I don't really know. <laughs> Sweet, hell yeah. All right, little miss, time for you to go back. Have a good spawn. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> that feels so good. All right. Oh, I have drifted all the way into this corner. This was a really weird catch for me because I didn't really think that I had a fish on it first. I didn't really set the hook into him or anything. It was just kind of like a, I don't know, half-assed hook set. But still, we managed to get him in the boat and uh, it was a really nice fish. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure what crankbait that was. I think it was a Bass Pro Shops brand crankbait, but uh, again, it'll be linked down in the description if you guys want to see it. And uh, if you guys are interested in picking it up for yourself. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, go down below, hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys like the content and you want to see some more like this. On top of that, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button to see some more content from me, I put up a new video every week, so if you guys want to see some more videos like this, on top of like some unboxings and stuff like that, then go down below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with this video. Uh, it's really good to look back on some of the other fish catches that I couldn't really put into a video. And I feel like it gives you guys a good wide range of stuff, so you're not just looking at the exact same thing, like I'm not just throwing a Senko and catching 15 fish on a Senko. That way you guys kind of have like a wider, broader range of stuff to watch in one video. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. If you guys want to see some more of this type of video, if you guys are interested in seeing some more in the future, um, I'm more than happy to put up some more. I think I have probably enough for, I don't know, two or three more videos, but uh, we'll see. But if you guys are interested in seeing some more, uh, let me know in the comments again, and I'll be sure to make some more. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for me. Check them and wreck them. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>